Hey YouTube, just wanted to give a quick update on my original solar ammo box generator. Um, just to, you know, from a recap perspective, if you recall, um, and I'll post a link to the uh, overview in the assembly video, uh, I put these holes in here, you know, I'm sorry, these uh, bolts into the case because of the lead acid battery. So if in here, right, just envision the square of the batteries down here. And the reason I did that is because of the weight. I wanted to make sure it was secure. Uh, and then I did another video where I actually swapped it out and put lithium uh, iron phosphate battery in here, which um, is what's in there now. So what I did now, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm done with this particular uh, design, is uh, I swapped out, let me pop the lid off here, and I went with a different controller. Um, I had the Jenison, uh, I believe it was a GV-10, uh, because it's 10 amp. Uh, controller. I love these controllers, by the way. Uh, they are very light, uh, made in the USA, work really, really well. Um, and what I liked about this particular one uh, for this build, right, is it had the uh, 5 amp load out. So it protects, you know, up to 5 amps the amount of load that you're drawing uh, on here. Now, technically, you can get rid of this if you recall uh, in the previous videos this is my 10 amp breaker um, that i have in here this could eliminate this possibly i left it on there uh, i'm thinking about maybe changing uh, it around to you know get rid of the inline fuse from the solar input and um, you know i could reuse it but for now i'm just going to leave it alone I'm, I'm trying not to tinker with this uh, design and just leave it be and this will be the final one uh, for this particular build uh, but again, I, I have the bolts in there to keep the battery down way overkill now with the lithium iron phosphate uh, Battery that's in there. You, know, you went from I, I'm going from my memory. I think it was like nine pounds down to three Massive difference in weight. I mean this thing is super light now 80% depth of discharge versus 50 the list goes on and on uh, With this so, you know the switch nothing's changed here. You know you turn the unit on there uh, it, it energizes everything um, if you're designing these, uh, I do have a drawing uh, that I posted in the previous videos, and I'll put them in the comments below uh, to recap them. But make sure this is the first thing that comes off your positive lead to your battery so that when you shut it off, you're killing uh, the power to the whole unit, right? You're, the load, nothing can, you can't charge, you can't do anything. Um, so you're, you're actually, you know, you're cutting off access to the battery. Uh, that's for safety reasons, and again, when you shut it off, you, you know, you're nothing in here is, uh, you know, drawing power, even if, you know, a light, an LED, like on this side, I'll turn it around. Um, it might be hard to see because it's daylight, but when I turn it on, um, you can see that that little light uh, comes on to indicate that, yeah, I have power uh, to the USB ports. Um, so if you forget about it or, you know, you left that on, uh, and you didn't, and you had this switch maybe wired a little bit differently. When you when you cut it off, uh, it's gone, right? You, you're you're killing the whole power uh, to the whole unit. There, um, it's just something you know. Again, it's uh, I have uh, done in, in a lot of my uh, tinkering here is I found this works out best. Um, what I do plan on doing in future builds is not using these open. Uh, these blade connectors um, uh, because anything falls in here touches these you have the you know chance of shorting and causing all kinds of problems I'm gonna switch out and go with the uh, the covered ones uh, to prevent that but I mean there's no reason uh, to actually have this lid off uh, you know when you're using it it goes on uh, keeps everything uh, you know from anything getting inside their water uh, not waterproof just water resistant um, so uh, very happy with this design, um, but I, I will have a video up here shortly uh, to show you um, a slightly modified version of this that I'm going to be going with um, uh, going forward. Uh, I, if the box is a little bit better uh, from Flambeau. Uh, the people have been great there. I reached out to them, uh, asked them uh, if they would mind if I feature their case. No problem. They actually sent me 
a bunch of different cases to try um, made in the USA and um, it's the, the, the main difference and not to kind of divulge from that too much but the one thing I love about their design is that the box the ammo boxes is completely square so if you look at this this is actually tapered it's larger and then tapers down here which you know, if you're actually using this for what it is, an ammo, it, 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 you know, to hold ammunition, then it's not a big deal. But when you're dealing with things that, you know, you're trying to measure and make sure uh, are square, it, it can make a difference. Uh, but that's it. Uh, again, it's a 12 volt, 10 amp hour battery, lithium iron phosphate, uh, much lighter, 80% uh, depth of discharge, which means more power uh, for you to leverage uh, for your devices. Uh, again, I did not design this thing to, you know, you could hook up an inverter in this 12 volt socket, absolutely, uh, but you're not going to power uh, much, right? You could maybe power a fan or something that I'd say under 100 watts. I wouldn't go crazy. Uh, in this particular build, because you're limited to 5 amps, uh, you're looking at 60 watts. So anything more than 60, this will actually uh, cut off. Uh, but again, that's my preference. You can, you can build yours the way you want. Um, but again, this is, uh, I actually am holding this down via a couple of zip ties and it, it works. It's, it's really light compared to the Sun Saver module uh, charge controller that I had in there before. Um, but uh, again, I could probably clean this up a little bit better, but I'm done. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it works. Uh, but again, I just wanted to kind of recap uh, on some of the deltas that I did here, swapped out the controller uh, and then the other video I had. Uh, where I went over what I changed uh, initially from the an original design. So I uh, just clip this on there and the back, close it up, and you're good to go. There's your your uh, USB, your 12 volt, and again, you can get different accessories. Uh, I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different here uh, in my next build. Uh, this powerlet socket, I love these things. I'm going to stick with these. Uh, you know, that lid keeps it nice and closed. The plug works great, goes in there, it, it, it clicks in nice and secure. Um, you have to do a little modification, you know, from a wiring perspective to get it hooked up to your solar panels, but um, that's inevitable. This is the best way I've found to uh, get uh, your connection into solar panels without having to. Um, you know, lift the lid and plug it in that way and some other ways that I've seen others design it. I'm, I'm real happy with this. Uh, that's just the, uh, the the 10 amp breaker, the switch, and, and that's literally it. Uh, really light, uh, definitely under 10 pounds. Uh, and you're looking at, um, you know, 120 watts of standby power, quite, you know, 80% of that. But, you know, quite a bit of standby power here. Um, so happy with it and I'm, I'm done with it. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, video just to show you what I've done, what I've changed. And uh, I just charged it today. It's been a beautiful uh, weather down here. Uh, I live in Florida, so uh, we had you know, perfect, perfect weather. Uh, clear day, good day to charge these up, topped them off. And um, again, the one thing you will notice it's missing is I in this particular design, I don't have a uh, voltmeter so uh, and I changed it and I fixed that in my next build so okay I uh, hope you found this useful and I'll be posting my new build of this uh, here shortly thanks